We all have seen that huge scrolling letters, right? Dun, 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 dun. That's Contra, baby. Our nostalgia. The game we all have played in the 90s. Of course, the NES one was so dominated among the entire franchise. But today, we are going to cover every single Contra game released officially by Konami. Before doing that, do not forget to subscribe because, man, the inflation is rising. We gotta feed our kids, right? Come on, man. Don't forget to subscribe. Hell yeah, dude, I'm doing it. In this video, we will be covering platforms such as arcades, computers, home consoles, handhelds, and mobile phones. This video is gonna be very longer, but we will be covering every game each two minutes. So let's jump back to the computer screen. Alright guys, so we are playing the first version of Contra which is called the Contra Arcade in, released in 1987. You guys can see it over there. Oh my god, look at that screen. Wow, this is really interesting. Like, look at that. Like, I can see why the NES was the reminiscent of this. But wow, like look at that. They're completely wearing their camouflage. It's not like the red and blue color in the pants. We have seen that in the in the NES version or the Super Contra one. Like wow, this is completely nice camouflage. And look at the co control scheme and everything. And uh, it's completely in like a vertical screen back in the day. Of course, it was 1987. So we used to had like a con we used to had like vertical screens for the arcades wow this is really badass and look at that i love that konami logo man ever since konami has changed its logo everything is going downhill it's just not cool as it used to be you know all right so five credits i'm playing this on mr fpga which is the oh my god oh shit damn that's a first death all right here we go oh shit look at that Oh, bro, you get the Algon like that, that immediately? Bro, the explosions kill you in this version. Bro, what? The explosions kills you in this version. Wow. Bro. The explosions kills you in the arcades. Wow. All right. So I could see that this is kind of like Contra 4. Uh little bit i kind of feel like i'm playing the contra 4 or something like that like that vertical screen orientation or some stuff like that you know bro this is kind of little very tiny little stage i guess oh my god this is base stage already all right where should we go let's see here uh not left side all right let's go to the right side then okay Look at that base stage, like look at this car. Oh shit, I got shot over there. Bro, this is really interesting. I'm really liking this though. I wish I would have grew up with this version, honestly speaking. What the fuck? Continue. Alright, let's go. Oh shit, man. God damn. Alright. God damn, bro. What the? Bro, that's bullshit. Where do you have to hit? Oh, there we go. Oh, sorry. The hitboxes are not that flashing like it used to be on the NES version. Sorry, don't mind my gameplay, guys. All right. All right, let's see here. Damn. All right, so we are supposed to go to the right side now. I mean, left side, whatever. <coughs> wow. I really... I'm really enjoying playing this while I'm having my chai at the same time. Yeah, this is the Indian chai. Mm, it feels so good. Bro, you're getting shot. All right, let's go once again. Oh, yeah, the explosions. All right, should we go to that side? Oh, yeah, all right, go to that side. Let's go. Look at that Falcon logo. I think so, that's a Falcon logo, right? Yeah! Yeah! Fuck, man. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Oh yeah, the boss screen. Oh my god, this is kind of very similar to the NES version. Contra. This is very similar to the NES version. Wow. So basically the NES version is a port of arcade, but slightly here there are the changes. Of course, the graphical scheme and the NES console had a lot of limitations. Here we go, it's a game over. But man, this is really awesome. I'm really enjoying this version though. Oh no, you can still continue. Alright, let's go. Come on. I wanna see at least... At least I wanna see that waterfall stage. Come on, man. We should do this. Bro, come on. 
Here we go, 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 Oh, come on, man. You gotta die, man. Come on, man. Don't be that nugget. Come on, stop being that nugget, man. That ass nugget. Come on, man. Stop being that ass nugget. Come on, die, man. Come on. Die. Die. Finally. It took so many tries. So many button tapping. Man, the arcades were button taps back in the day. Wow. Uh, it's game over. Her, but man, at least I get to see the waterfall stage, I would say. Oh, uh, there we go. We are at the fourth. So yeah, this is the arcade version. Alright guys, so moving on to Super Contra. Arcade, 1988. Oh my god. Bro, this looks awesome. The Red Falcon Organization, there is a side story right here. The quest for freedom continues. America, yeah. Wow, look at that red tag back in the day. It kind of reminds me of Buy Your Billy game I have played. Are th is, is this character supposed to speak or something? I don't think so. Or probably the Nintendo Switch is not here. Uh, by the way, I'm playing this on Nintendo Switch. Wow. Bro, I really, really love this scenes they have used in this game. Of course, this is in vertical orientation. It's an arcade game, right? 1988 by Konami. Alright, let's see here. Wow. Two, three. Let's try only three. Because we also have a lot of games to cover too, right? So let's see here. Oh yeah, the helicopter scene from NES. Bro, this is really awesome. And they are still wearing the camouflage. It's... Oh, shit. God damn. Alright, so we got the homing missiles. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that flashing spread gun. This flashing spread gun. If you guys have noticed, the flashing... Uh, the, the spread gun bullets in NES version of Super C is like more fluid and advanced compared to the original Contra. That's just my opinion though. Or that's just my observation. Oh my god, the Switch Drift. I really hate the Nintendo Switch Drift. Look at that, it's drifting right here, but still I'm trying to cover. Oh my god, alright, we already got the continue, let's go. Come on, man. Bro, this is really awesome. Oh no! Oh shit, let's go, 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 go. God damn, there's nuggets. God damn, there's nuggets. Let's go, 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 Oh my god, god damn. There's a lot of thing happening in this version though. Bro, he's not dying yet. Bro, just die, man. What the heck? Alright. Come on, come on. And yeah, the music is really awesome too. I'm enjoying this. Bro, this is so badass. Bro, this is so badass. Of course, that thing does not exist in the NES version. Oh my god, this snowfield thing. Oh shit. God damn, let's go. Come, come on, man. We gotta do this. Come on. God damn, my Nintendo Switch drift. I hate it. God damn. Let's go. Oh shit, could you see that? Right in front of your face, like just hitting the bullet, man. Oh my god. Come on, man. Alright. Alright, I added more three uh, credits. Let's go. Oh shit. I wanted to see how the bosses looks like in this version, though. Bro, this is really tough. This is so hardcore, man. Wow, the... the, the the thing Konami has made back in the day in 1988 is so phenomenal. Like, just look at this. This is so tough. Alright, this is the game end. <laughs> wow. Alright, let's move on to the other versions. Alright guys, so we are moving on to the Amstrad CPC, which was the British computer back in the day. It was released in 1985, you guys can see on the computer screen, right? And this is how it looks. Like, this is the 8-bit computer. I'm really much surprised to see, and I'm using Mr. FPGA to hardware emulate this device, uh, this computer basically. So yeah, you guys can see, I have only a one game loaded, it's called Grazer. I think so in Europe, they uh, it used to known as uh, Grazer, Contra I think. Then it changed to Probotector, I don't even know, but I think so that's probably what it is. So let's try loading up this thing. Alright, so here is the disk. I think so you have to type uh, cat and see what's loaded up. Oh yeah, there we go. 
and you have to type run. Oop. Sorry. It's called Grazer. And run. Let's see how it works. All right. A black screen of that. Let's see how much time it takes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, look at that grazer. It's by Konami logo over there. And there is an ocean. Ocean. Every time I see ocean, I don't know. I just get the weird feeling, to be very honest. Um, but yeah, this is the Contra in Amsterdam, uh, Am Amstrad CPC, basically. Released in 1987 by Konami. Probably it might be published by Konami, but developers might be Ocean. I have seen the Ocean a lot, like in uh, in Amiga. I have seen that thing a lot, basically. So yeah, we have to wait for this thing. Let's wait. I will fast forward this thing. Wow, this computer takes a lot of time to load this garbage, I think. Alright, here we go. Alright, so a black screen. Now what? Oh, here we go. Look at that. The game loaded. Finally. Let's go. Player 1. And this is it. Wait, no music? Only SFX? Okay. Wow, this... Oh, so that guy has a camouflage, but he's wearing a blue shirt or something? Wow, look at that jungle. It looks kind of like, I don't know, a Game Boy thing, but not even a Game Boy looks this way. I mean, I don't even know what to say about this, but man, I wish there was a music in this. Oh man, what the? All right, let's go. Oh, so we got the Algon. Oh shit, that's a badass Algon, bro. What the? All right, let's see. Let's go. Oh, so basically it lacks the scrolling effect, uh, like the MSX. Of course, we are gonna cover the MSX version of Contra. Uh, official release by Konami, and it's game over. Uh-oh. Alright, let's move on to the further. Alright guys, so we are at the ZX Spectrum now. I'm using Mr. FPG, of course. It's a very awesome device though. I had to recommend getting uh, that thing. Alright, so let's go to the tape loader. Uh, let's load the tape. I have not loaded the tape. Huh. Grazer. Alright. Let's load this thing up. Oh my god. Look at that flashing screen over there. Oh, damn boy. Alright, here we go. So look at this. This is the Contra screen. I mean, Grazer screen, basically. Licensed by Konami logo over there. Alright, so there is like a timer over there which is loading up over there. So you guys might be hearing some beeping sound or something. Probably. You wanna enjoy that sound? There you go. Enjoy that. Alright, so... Alright, I'm fast forwarding this thing. Right, alright, alright. Load, 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 load. Grazer, come on. And finally, we can listen to the music over here. Wow, let's see here. Alright, so... How do I play the game? Alright, let's go then. Zero, right? But wait, I'm using controller at the same time. So probably I should use two. And then zero. Oh shit, look at that! We are finally playing Contra on ZX Spectrum. Look at this. That yellow guy. Look at that, the yellow guy. It kind of reminds me some little bit of the mixture of Game Boy at the same time Tiger Electronics handheld, something like that. Look at this, guys. This is really interesting. Oh shit, I got shot over there. Wow, the, the bridge is not breaking automatically. Alright, oh, come on, man. Bro, what the f Look at that CMYK type of the color. Can you see that? How am I even able to shoot this? Can you even see this? Jesus Christ, man. This computer is so badass, I think. Let's go, man. Oh, come on! Alright, let's see. Alright, he got shot. Come on, let's go. Wow, the music is like the, the base stages they have used. 
Uh, and it's game over. So basically you have to use like a Q or something else uh, to jump, I think. That is how it is. It's old computer. So yeah, that was ZX Spectrum. Let's move on to the next computer. Alright guys, so we are at the Commodore 64 now. Of course it was an American computer, right? I think so, Commodore 64. Yeah, it was the American computer. So, we are using the disk of Contra. Basically, I'm using Mr. FPGA basically, so we can do all of that stuff, right? So I think so we use a command uh, or something, but I think so there is a shortcut to it. If you press like F5, all right, so if I press the F5, it is searching for some uh, uh, file right there. And uh, if I press the F3, it will load up. And you will see Contra right there. Look at that. That's an awesome black and white screen right there. This is really interesting. I'm enjoying this. All right, so what should we do? These are all some instructions right here. All right, so let's hit return. Load Contra plus USA.dgn. All right. So it is loading unlimited lives. Oh my God. So they give you the option of choosing unlimited lives or not. That's really awesome, man. Um, I will choose no. Um, how many number of lives? I think so. It's zero. I don't even know how many over there. Can I, can I type any number? I'm not able to basically. So probably just proceed to N. And here we go. Oh my God. Look at this. Let's go. The music is still there. And here we go. This is Commodore 64 Contra. Look at this. We are playing Contra on Commodore 64, guys. What's your take on it? We just took a death over there. And all right, let's go. All right, so we have like two to three lives, whatever. Oh, should they give you this spread gun right away over there? Oh, the explosions kill you. It's like the arcade version, basically. Alright, so he's wearing like a brown pants. I've never seen a Contra guy wearing a brown pants. It's not camouflage, but whatever it is. It's a good shit. I'm enjoying this a little bit. Oh my god. I just got shot over there. Game over, player one. Let's try one more time. Because this version is actually good, I would say. Not like the ZX Spectrum and Amstrad CPC one. God damn, I am not like that. But yeah, it was... It was a time back in the day. Where people used to play Contra in their computers like this. Alright, so how do I get down? Yeah, how do I get down? Return, space. Oh, so you press space. How, okay, how about space and down? Will I get down? Oh, there we go. So basically, if you want to jump, you have to use the computer. Because the old joysticks, right? Only one controller and a D-pad. One button and a D-pad, I think. Wow. Bro, 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 what is that? What the heck is that? Alright. So, yeah, that was the Contron C64. Alright, so let's move on to the next computer, I guess. So, let's go. Alright, guys, so we are at the DOS and uh, I'm about to run Contra on DOS. MS DOS, of course. So, let's see here. Let's type CD Contra over here. We can see all the directories. All right, so let's see here. Contra and type run me dot bat. Enter. All right, so here we can see Jack Daniels. Man, what's up with the Jack Daniels over there? I don't get it, but let's go. Enter. And here we go. Banana development production. Wow. What are, what's your thought on it? The banana development production. Why the heck they had to use the word banana over here? I don't get it. All right, let's see here. It's Konami logo. And here we go. It's Contra on DOS, baby. Let's see here. All right. Okay, so I can remap something over here. Uh, I will choose... Oops, wait. I will choose F1 joystick, of course. And then hit escape. And fire button. And uh, I will choose, of course, um, easy mode. They don't have normal mode. Wow. Bro. Bro, what the fuck was that? Could you see that, guys? Could you see all of that? What the heck was that? All right. 
uh probably let's try messing around with the cpu controls over here let's see here i have like 90 megahertz so i will choose to like 15 megahertz and i'll do cache off so it should run perfect now let's see here escape and enter one and here we go jesus christ this is contra on the dos and why the heck is running automatically i'm not even trying to do anything like look at this he's just running automatically like i'm pressing up button i have set everything but man this looks so shit like there is only like two to three colors that said white sign magenta whatever and blue wow this is the weirdest shit i've ever seen what the fuck is this this guy is trying to escape the game the game is so bad that he wants to escape Oh my god, man. What the heck? Alright, let's see here if I can mess around with the with the cache. L2 cache on and L1 cache off, whatever. And let's see here if he can... No, he cannot go inside. Oh my god, the up button is not working. I don't know why, man. What's wrong with this system? Let's see here. Oh, what? Alright, let's see here. Bro, he's running automatically. Can I control this? Let's try controlling this. No, it's just not working. Jesus Christ, man. This Contra game is so weird that I would not even wipe my ass on it. Literally. Like, just look at this, man. Like, he just wants to escape this game so badly. Alright, I'm messing around with the L1, L1, R1, Cash. Just look at it. He's just stuck over there, man. Can he go? Oh, man. Bro, can you go over there? No, he just cannot go. Bro, what's up with this game, man? This game is so weird. All right, let's try messing around more once more. If I... Oh, my God. Sorry, man. Oh, my God. All right, guys. I'm done with this. I cannot play this once more. All right, I'm done with this horrific Contra port on Amazon. All right, let's move on further. Alright guys, so we are at the MSX2 now. MSX2 was a Japanese computer back in the day. Of course, I think so you guys know it already, right? Like it's a 90s computer. It's a Japanese computer though. Let's load some Contra in it. It's a 1989 release. Of course start and this is how the MSX looks. I really like the Japanese computer way more than that, that, that European computers though. Yeah, it's... And uh, space to launch the ROM. Here we go. Let's see the Contra ROM. Oh shit, look at that Konami logo right there. Oh my god, it looks so good. Wow, this is so cool. Oh my god, look at that. Look at the way it looks. Alright, let's see here. Asphalt to jungle. Alright, Asphalt Jungle. Okay, so basically this level is known as Asphalt Jungle. Oh my god, look at that Contra guy. He's still wearing gray, gray pants. I'm sorry, green pants and gray shirt. Wow, that's badass, bro. No more red and blue and green pant guy or something like that. Wow, I can jump, right? Yeah, MSX likes that scrolling screen. Bro, what the fuck? And bro, could you notice this has a light bar? That's so crazy, man. Have you ever played a Contra game? Alright, guys. Have you ever played a Contra game which has a light bar? No, I mean, I, I mean, just look at it. Just, just look at it. It has a light bar, man. That's really awesome. How cool is that, man? This is a really underrated version. And this is not that bad. You know, this is not that bad that versions I have been playing. The MS-DOS version was literally trash, man. Literally trash. Alright, so here we are at the boss. Let's see if we can finish this. We gotta do it. Oh my god. You fucking nugget. Come on, man. We gotta do this. Come on, 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 come on. I don't think so we can do this. Ah. Oh shit. Alright, here we go. 
Oh shit, so we have some, uh, whatever, health. Like some lives, basically. So basically, this can be a very beatable version of Contra, I guess, since you have a life bar. Bro, their enemies, like, jumping down? Out of nowhere, so you have to know that they are coming over there. Jesus, man. Come on, man. We gotta destroy that hole. Come on, man. Destroy that. It looks like anal hole, though. It really looks like the anal hole. Look at that. Oh, god damn, that anal hole. Are we really supposed to shoot there, right? As far as I know. Oh, it's game over. Eh, eh, it's game over. There we go. Alright guys, so we are gonna play Super C on Amiga. Yeah, of course, this is Amiga. Uh, I think so, Amiga was the European computer back in the day. It runs on a PAL TV, PAL system. Of, and of course, I'm playing this on Mr. FPGA. So let's load Super C, which is one of my favorite games. Of course, I like the NES version more. Uh, let's see if we can play, if we can like this version, basically. So this is Super C. Let's see here. Super C, Super C, Super C, Super C. C stands for? What do you guys think C stands for? Oh my god, look at that Konami logo! LGBTW on a culture. Oh my god, it reminds me of LGBTQ logo right there. Alright, let me let me see if I can configure around with the video over here. Alright, this should be cool, right? Alright, let's see here. Konami logo right there. This is exactly what I needed. Alright, I'm just typing whatever the numbers and start a new game, of course. One player, of course. Because I'm single. Alright, let's see here. Loading time, loading time. Oh, here we go. No helicopter. And why there's a lot of ground over there? Like, is it supposed to be a beat em up? No, it's uh, whatever. I'm just thinking something else. But hey, at least I don't have to constantly tap on the button to shoot the bullet. Bro, what the fuck? Wow, this actually looks good. It doesn't look that bad. It is not the reminiscent of the arcades, to be very honest. Oh, or it is a reminiscent of the arcade. But they have changed a lot. It has changed a lot in this. Man, I only got five lives. How many lives do you get in this? Wow, this is really interesting version, to be very honest. It's not the bad game. It's it's really awesome. The way that guy looks. Of course, he's wearing green pants. Why am I commenting on that guy a lot with that pant color? Because I don't know. I just never understood the concept of NES, NES guys had red and blue pants. Guys, I, I just don't get that. Alright, alright, let's see here. Let's see if we can finish the first level at least. Wow, this is really interesting version to be very honest though. I'm enjoying this. For the way- Oh my god, look at that flashing bullets. Flashing. Yeah, let's kill everything. Yeah, it's like the 25 FPS it is running, whatever. I just forgot how do you jump in this. Yeah, it kind of lags a little bit. Probably the PAL is why, that's why. How do you speedrun that part? Alright, let's see here. Oh my god. Come on, man. Man, this running guys. Why the fuck they have to run so fast? Like, where, where, where the hell, where the hell they have to go? God damn! Come on, man, my girlfriend is dying. Alright, let's see here. Alright, let's see. Yeah, we got the uh, spread gun once again. Let's see here. Oh, shit. So this is a reminiscent of the arcade, basically. Nothing has changed. Yeah, this is completely reminiscent of arcade, Super C. Wow. Man, this is really interesting though. Come on, man. We gotta shoot that. We gotta shoot that. We gotta shoot that. We gotta shoot that tank. Alright, let's go. 
Wow, I like that. Let's go, go, let's go, let's go. Oh, shit, nuggets. Alright, so that was the Amiga version of Super C. I hope you enjoyed it. Let's move on to the other computer, other consoles. I think so, it's other consoles. So let's go. Alright, guys, so we are back at the consoles now, finally, to be very honest. I was really tired of watching all of that. I was really tired. I was really tired of playing all of that PC Contra games though. Except I like some MSX and uh, Amiga ones a little bit. Uh, but the Amstrad and other co other computers, I'm, I just did not enjoy it. Alright, let's go. Let's see the NES Contra, right? As always, we remembered. Alright, so that's scrolling right there. It gives you a nice goosebumps, right? I mean, I really enjoyed this Contra, man. This is one of my favorite Contra games. All right. Damn, damn. Would you see that two masculine guys over there? Like, would you see their bodies? And here is their blue pants, man. Blue is the color of cleverness. That deep pride these people have with their masculinity and stuff like that, you know? Look at that masculinity that the explosions don't kill you like the arcade version. Alright man, we gotta go fast. Let's see here. Oh my god. Man, I really love this music and everything. When I first played this Contra as a kid, I was like, wow. This, this game is really cool. And to be very honest, I have not played a lot as a child. I played Super C a lot. With my best friend back in the day, she used to call me every day and like, Hey Akshay, are you coming to my house to play some video games? I'm like, and she used to have like a Mikaji console back in the day. And she, and her mom used to bring all of that so that me and her can play. And man, I really enjoyed playing a lot, like especially in two players back in the day. And she used to be very good. She used to be very good. But man, I really enjoyed playing this at her house. This game and Super C. Alright, man. We gotta destroy this. Let's go. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Come on, man. Let's get that shot. Wow, look at the guy, the way he walks. Like, deep pride in the masculinity, man. Alright, the base stages. I'm really not a big fan of the base stages. What's your opinion on it, guys? Like, I, I can understand that the back in the day, they really wanted to make this like a very 3D type of element. Like, look at that, the 3D element right there. But to be very honest, I did, I did not really enjoy this base stages, to be very honest. That's why if you see a lot of Famiclone cards I have played, they just literally took off the base 1 and base 2. So once you complete the jungle stage, you start off with the waterfall stage, and then uh, snow field, and then that hangar stage, and energy zone, and then aliens layer. You know? Man, let's go. Like good old multi cards I have played. It was some good time, man. Alright, let's go. Come on, man. Oh shit, I got shot. Alright, guys. Do you guys want to see something very interesting? I'm going to show you the Japanese version of Contra. So, let's check that out. Alright, guys. So, we're going to play the Japanese version of Contra. Here we go. And this is how it looks. Look at that. The title screen. Oh my god. Look at that fire inside that logo. Man, did you see that fire? Alright, so they do have some storylines over here. Look at that Katakana, Kanji, and Hiragana mix all together in Japanese language. I just never understood like why they use Kanjis a lot. Like honestly, like is it considered as a good writing or something? Let's go. And this is how it looks. Like the meteors falling on that earth. And somebody has to save it in the year 2631. Wow, this is some nice storyline and the music over there. And look at that, the map screen over here you guys can see. Alright, let's go. So this is the Japanese Contra. 
like it's very similar to the NES one except they have done like the, the music change like not the music change the backgrounds change I will show you how the background is like changing in this version though other than that it's very similar like it's just basically the same contra I think so the Famicom cartridges look at that look at that wavy trees like it's shaking like it reminds you that somebody's inside there Oh yeah! God damn! Look at that blue pants guy! The blue pants guy! The blue pants guy! God damn! Like somebody's really beside... Somebody's really behind that tree or something. So yeah, this is the Japanese version of Contra. Alright, so shall we move to the Super C? Let's go! Alright guys, before moving on to Super C, I wanted to point out a really important thing over here. The European version of Contra is known as Pro Attacker. The reason, because, I don't know, like no scrolling or something. Like look at this, if I hit the reset, like no scrolling, nothing. It's right in front of your face, it's Pro Attacker and that's it. No Musculine guy is hitting anyone. Look at these two robots over here. We will find out their names later. I think so, it's K, whatever. I, I forgot their names though. If somebody can comment. And... Look at this! Wow! The sprites are completely changed! Because it's Probotactor! This is the European version of Contra. Oh yeah! It kinda reminds me of Gundam to be very, very honest. Did they really pay the price for Gundam? I'm just kidding though. It's kind of like the Opt Optimus Prime or something. The white guy. Yeah, the white guy and the blue guy, right? Or red guy, whatever. Man, they look really kind of badass though. I really like this thing. Look at that. It's kind of reminiscent of the aliens or something. That rare thing right there. Alright. Alright, guys. Let's move on to the Super C then. Let's go. Alright guys, so finally we are playing Super C. This is one of my favorite, if not the favorite Contra game. I really love this game though. Like, I have played this a lot in childhood with her back in the day. My friend of course. Of course I was not dating that time. Come on man, I was a kid. Alright. So I learned a lot of skills with her in this game. Like, how do you have to, like, kick this guy's ass? I really like the helicopter effect. Like, the first the guy just jumps off right in front of you and you are like, Hell yeah, you are about to have some action. Serious action right there. Alright, let's go here. Let's go. Yeah, I need that. Yes. The thing about that, you constantly have to move so fast. This game is, like, so much it test your... You know... It literally, it literally tests your skills right there. Like how well you can perform in this game. Like really, I just died right there. Go. Like is somebody running behind or something? Like, what are they trying to do, man? Assholes. Alright. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There you go, only 4 shots man, and you complete the stage 1. This is why I love Super C. I'm just very good at it though. I still have to like work on my skills so I can one day sp end up speedrunning it and take a world record or something. Hell yeah. And you know what, compared to the base stages, I really love the top down stages in Super C. Like, it really gives you a nice like top down view of that angle. Oh my god, look at that. That thing kind of reminds me of Nintendo Wii. There you go. Alright guys, so uh, let's check out the... There is not much say to... Alright, alright guys, so there is not much say to... There is not... Alright guys, so there is nothing to... Nothing to say about the Japanese version of Super C. Because it's just a logo change. And you can use your Konami code over there to get the 30 lives. But other than that, we should check out the Probo Tactor 2, which is known as the Super C in the America. So let's check out that version, right? Alright guys, so this is the Super C of Europe. 
I really like that scrolling effect right there. Return of the Evil Forces. What a nice name they could ever talk about. Alright, let's see. I'm really excited to see this. I never see this. Wow. So... Alright, the music is kind of changed. And it's kind of really a little bit tough. The more green guys are popping out in the screen, I could sense that. Because I'm a speedrunner, I know like what enemies pops out more in Super C. Man, this is really interesting. Like the music is completely changed. Alright, let's go. Wow! Like look at that. These are like... Do they really have any hands or something? What are they trying to do? Like they're just gonna run across you or something? It kind of, it's a reminiscent of the Alien series. Like, oh my god, the Alien. The Europeans be like, oh my god, we are fighting the Alien and stuff like that. <laughs> That's really interesting. That's a really interesting way to put across, I think. Alright, let's see here. Alright. Wow, the helicopter is in blue color. Wow, this is really cool. I never saw I could see a blue helicopter. And the hit detection is changed too. Alright, alright. So it, it just died in like a very quick shot over there. That's really interesting. It's so fast, man. It's so fast. It's so fast. I really like that. Oh, yeah. Look at the top-down level. Wow. This is a really banging music right here, man. In 60 hertz. Hell yeah. Have you guys ever listened to Contra music in 60 hertz? Super C, basically. Alright guys, let's move on to the next consoles. It smells like shit in here. Not to forget that I'm wearing a brown color hoodie. It's not shit, it's a chocolate. But this game is really shit. But I kind of like the interesting aspect that they have added some storylines in this version. Contra Force it is, right? It's, 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 it's really weird, man. And I have seen a lot of family clones which mentions that it's, 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 Ryu and some stuff like that. It was really hilarious, man. But whatever, man. I will choose this guy. Oh, yeah. Man, this game kind of feels like I'm in the underwater or something. Like, it lags a lot. God damn, man. It really lags a lot. I wish this game could have just never existed. Or if you wanted to exist, they could have just repolished this game. I'm not saying the game is really bad or something like that, bro. What the? How the hell am I supposed to know? There is a one thing over there. They have to jump. It's called pit. Man, the scrolling is so bullshit in this version. I'm just not a big fan of it. Alright, let's see here. Other than that, the music is really nice, I would say. Music is really nice. I'm not hating on this game too much, but... I wish they could have, like, worked so hard in this version to make this... A really lovable version, you know? What's up with that thing? And it's game over right here. Damn. Alright, let's move on to the next console. Alright guys, so we are moving on to Super Nintendo now and we are playing Contra 3, Konami logo. We are playing some Contra 3, The Alien Wars. I never played this and, and I would say I never beat this version. I have played this version a little bit and it looks really beautiful though. Like I kind of like how they have used all of this like storytelling type of the thing and things like that. Holy shit, damn bro. That scared the shit out of me. Damn boy, look at that dragon. Oh my god, I really like that. And it's always the classic style. The adventures of Bio Billy. That's what I have that's where I have seen this type of the big text popping up. Are these Contra supposed to talk or something? Like this is really interesting version though. Um 
a really nice upgrade, I would say, on Super Nintendo. Yeah, let's go. Stage one. Yeah, this is the Super C style over here, that thing displaying. So I would say that the, the Konami believed that Super C was a big hit that time. It's, it's one of their best work. Yeah, so you have like the super spread guns. This is known as one of the very toughest game though. I have I wanna finish this game someday I will finish it on stream or something. Wow, what's up with that dog over there? He's eating shit over there. What's up with the dog? He's eating shit. Wow, the Elgin never felt so good. Uh oh. Well, other than that, the pea shooter gun is actually really cool too. Even I'm really surprised to see this. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh shit, look at that explosion. It's right there. Really interesting. Oh, so this is a little bit of the uh, metal slug stuff right here. <coughs> wow. Hey, <coughs> that's really cool. Come on, man, let's go. That's quite of the MC that's quite of the metal slug st st style. How many metal slug games are there? I wanna I wanna cover their entire franchise too. And by the way, guys, if you're enjoying this video, then don't forget to hit the like and subscribe, share, subscribe. Oh no, you gotta jump on that. Why? Why is it that fire is kind of trippy? Or probably the fire is taking drugs. Can you imagine fire taking drugs? Wow, this is so. This is really so cool. So basically, you do have the you do have the room to dodge the bullets, stuff like that, huh? So the explosions don't kill you at the same time, which is really awesome. The homing missiles. The sea gun. The sea gun is really cool though. It has a very nice cinematic uh, sound in this. Like I really like the cinematic sound in this version though. How many people have finished this game? I, I really want to see their playthroughs and stuff like that. Alright guys, so let's move on. Let's go. Alright guys, so moving on to my favorite version of Contra is known as Contra Hardcorps on Sega Genesis. This is one of my favorite version and man, of course the Konami logo. Man, the beautiful graphics. What amazing game I've ever seen. Let's take a look at it. Look at that scrolling effects right there. Like, this game is so cool, man. Like, they have worked so hard in this, you know? Like a lot of hard work goes into this like look at that like that digital display thing right there Watch in mind. We have like two to three characters in this Our security system has been bridged to a known hacker. Of course the hacker gotta be me, right? Man, I played this version. I listened to the soundtrack like just look at this Yeah, look at that like what a badass thing you can ever do in a Sega Genesis and look at the graphics and everything it looks way more beautiful like I'm I'm not trying to be very biased towards Genesis but man everything is in front of your eyes man like if you really play this game you're never gonna get bored or something you will be like tempted to see what's coming next or something you know like I really enjoy this version way more than the the Contra 3, but don't get me wrong, the Contra 3 is really beautiful too, but I wish they could have worked around with the music more or something like that, but man, look at these explosions, man, like, oh shit, like, the explosions just never stop, alright, we got some bombs over there, whoa, look at that, man, damn, watch in mine, damn, I really want to be master at this game though. This game is really so cool and I'm, I'm like, this is really a cup of, cup of my tea. My cup of tea basically. Oh my god, is, is the explosion gonna kill me? I knew it is gonna kill me. God damn. But yeah, there you go. And also the same layout as Super C. You guys can have, uh, you guys can see, right? Alright, so let's move on to the next console. Let's go. 
Okay, guys, so we are moving on to PlayStation era 1996. Contra Legacy of War, of course. I mean, this is nostalgia, man. I, I really love nostalgia, bro, honestly speaking. You know, nostalgia is my favorite. So this is Contra Legacy of War. I have seen a lot of videos about this, uh, but I've never tried it personally. So today we are going to take a look at this game, uh, how it looks and how it feels, you know. So let's see. Appaloosa Interactive. What the heck is that? Some weird software companies, game design and oh, so they are the different developers now. So this is just licensed by Konami. Oh, so they have the cutscenes over here. Let's see a little bit of the cutscene, like what's going on over here. So basically that's an airplane, like somebody's trying to colonize something. I That's what I think. I, what do you guys think? I think so they are going to like colonize or something. The earth. Yeah. Earth has to be colonized by somebody, right? Somebody. Boom! That's a big bomb right there. And here we go. Look at that. Whichever Contra you play, that fire should be very constant, right? Like that C over there, it has to be the fire. All right, let's see here. So we have like a ray. Oh my God, look at this. This is really cool. So we got some that CD288 robot. Wow. So we got Tasha. Okay. She got some good figures though. But I will choose this dude. Who is that dude over there? Wow, the music. It kind of makes me remind me. This music is making me remind of Bollywood music. Alright, let, let's not go, into, go there. All right, all right. Let's see. Let let's let's go over here. Let let's choose that guy. So this is like a map screen over here. That's really awesome, though. They have used the map screen. Urban warfare loading. Okay, let's see. And here we are. Oh my God, bro, bro, bro. What the heck is this? And I'm using my D-pad to be very honest, cause it's the early PlayStation. To PlayStation 1 game, right? It's the early PlayStation 1 game. PlayStation 2. Yeah, I'm using my PS2 controller basically. Bro, this looks really weird. I don't know. I, I don't know what to feel about this, honestly speaking. Can this guy jump? Okay, so this guy can jump, right? Like square button. Oh, sorry, zero button, circle button, zero button. Oh my god, it really stinks, man. It, this game really stinks. I just don't know, man. Has anybody played this game or has anybody tried to beat this game or something? Like, look at this hitboxes, man. Like, what a weird hitbox that I've ever seen. Like, what, what, what the heck is that, man? Like, I mean, I get it. This can be a meme, meme fuckery or something, but man. They could have just advanced something, but I guess they literally tried so hard back in the day because PlayStation 1, 3D graphics, man. Everybody be like, oh my god, man, 3D graphics. Oh, bro, 3D graphics, you know, kind of like that thing. That kids back in the day used to be like, oh my god, man, 3D graphics. This is really weird, man. Like... This feels so... Oh my god, I'm dead? Alright, let's see. And I have to start all the way back over again. Oh my god. I have to start all the way back again. Man, this game is really weird. Thank god I have never played this. But today I am for the sake of the video. But... Uh, uh, this game really stinks, man. It really stinks. Imagine if somebody gives me a challenge to beat this whole game. I would be like, oh my god. That will be a really pain in the pain in the ass to be very honest. Man, this game. Like look at just hit boxes. Like how how do somebody shoot like this? Like this is so weird. Like look at this hit boxes, man. How do you even dodge that? 
And how do I even manage to shoot that? This is so weird. Wow. At least the at least they have the machine gun. That's that, that's the only one good thing about I have noticed so far about this game. Bro, I hardly can even get past through that level. Like just look at this hit boxes and stuff like that. You have to jump and keep on just tap keep on just shooting over there. Like this is so really weird. God damn, man. I don't even know what to say about this game, to be very honest. I'm just not into it. Jesus Christ. This is so weird. This game is so weird, man. Let's see here. Oh my god. Alright, let's see how far we can make it. All right, so we have exploded that thing. Okay, I cannot go into that side, right? Okay, that's cool. And I just died right there. Or probably survived, basically. Oh my god. These turrets, they are so weird. Oh my god, these turrets are so weird. Oh my god, let's see here. And I'm dead. I just cannot get past through that whole thing right here. This game really sucks. Please don't play it. Stay away from it. Alright, let's move on. Alright guys, so we are moving on to the second game of PlayStation 1 of Contra. It's known as C, The Adventure Contra or something like that. Yeah, it's called The Adventure Contra. It came out in 1998 when I was born. Yeah, I was born in 1998. All right, so the same developers. Uh, I'm I'm getting a bad feeling about this, but I'm really like, oh my god, this is really badass over there. Like that comical type of the thingy they have used over there, and of course the C, the Contra, the adventure. Wow, man. All right, let's 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 go. So what do we have? Any card scene? Now loading. All right, the CD, the disc loading. All right, so this is the main menu right here. Let's see here. Let's go. Man, all these Contra games on PlayStation One starts to like stink. As far as I have known and seen, a lot of people talking crap about them. All right, so here is a little bit of cutscene. Like the Earth is get a, go, going to colonize or something by some Red Falcon or some shit. That is the always a story gotta be, right? Here we go. A Metroid. A meat or whatever. That fucking asteroid thingy. Going to the South America. Yeah, speaking of South America, the Contra has a lot of influence in South America. Um, as far as the history is concerned. Uh, you guys can check out that video where I have made a shot about that kind of stuff, you know. So yeah, speaking of that, these are the jungles. What are these? Like some bugs. Oh, so that's a Mexican temple, like Mayan temple or something, as far as I know. Or probably I may be wrong, so please correct me. Oh, so that temple is destroyed. Are we gonna see some like 2012 type of the thing? Remember, remember the 2012 rumor? End of the world. I literally woke up in 21st December 2012 to literally see if the sun is rising from the west. But it was not. Oh, wow. Alien forces has begun to aggressively attack the capital city. Intelligence reports suggest that the aliens are using the using this attack to test the battle preparations of the elite forces. Their mission is to save the capital city by engaging in the enemies and forcing them into a defense position. All right, let's go then. Okay, so wow, this is really interesting. I mean, I have never played this version. Never saw it. Let me increase the music a little bit. Okay, so the music is actually kind of okay. Okay. Oh, so this is like a wow. So they changed the angle. Wow, this is actually cool, isn't it? For the PlayStation time, 
but they could have done this really well but uh, this just feels really weird oh so it changes it kind of reminds me the strider on playstation 1 i have played that's a really good game you should check it out bro bro like what is this disorientation going on over here whatever i'm just going with it since you just have to press that right d-pad right yeah right d-pad bro this is so weird i mean it's sure giving me a slightly a bit of a contract bro well what why he cannot just walk over there like what so much space wasted I, oh man this is so crazy and this guy is a boss like a mini boss or some shit oh he died at least this guy is wearing some camouflage and what what the heck that tanky is carrying like some flamethrower or some shit oh no all right so we destroyed that thing here we go let's go bro this is a really weird game i've ever played in my life why not a lot of people have been talking about this game on the retro community Am I the only one who is talking about this? Oh shit, we got the spread gun. Wow, this is cool then. At least I would say. Miss you, man. Love comes again. I miss my spread. Bro! So you have kind of like a 2-3 to three hit boxes and then you die. Which is kind of like a... Con contra hardcore on Japanese version. Sega Genesis, Mega Drive, basically. Bro, how do you even jump on that? Or so basically, you have to wait for them to calm down or something? I think so, that's what it is. Oh my god, they have like a one split second over there. This is so weird. Alright, so, alright, you gotta jump over there I, as, as far as I know, right? Let's go. Alright, I jumped on it. Yeah. yeah oh my god look at that laser oh shit so honestly speaking this game is playable at least i'm able to reach to this far it does not stink like the legacy of wars this game is actually really good it's not that bad honestly speaking you guys can see after five minutes like i'm kind of liking it i would say so yeah this is probably a bad a, a good playstation 2 con playstation 1 contra wow we just destroyed it okay so now we move further or oh, there are more bosses left all right do that yeah yeah Bro, that's a grenade shot right there. Oh my god. Bro, this is really tough thingy right here. Nice platform mechanics for the 2D style. I mean, it kind of reminds me of Game Boy Advance graphics to be very honest though. Oh, I died right there. Oh, so we got the continue <laughs> i mean game over so yeah this game is actually playable i would say it's not that bad like the legacy of wars it's 2d style thing and i kind of like it so yeah do check check this out i recommend this all right so let's move on to the further consoles all right guys so we are at playstation 2 now we always expected that playstation 2 could be played on lcd tvs back in the day but uh, the hardware was not made for that at that time so i'm using some emulation over here uh, and it looks beautiful i mean look at that like we are playing this in 1080 pixels like look at this like a lot of patches has been applied in this emulation uh, this looks really interesting like i i'm just like speechless but yeah we are over here to check out that uh, Contra game. Oh, so this guy is crucified now in the jail. But what? 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 
Since when? Oh shit, this music is really badass, man. Hell yeah, I'm loving it. Alright, so... So this is like a cutscene thing going on. Shutter Soldier. Oh right, so they have fixed the name over here. Build Razor. Where is Lance? That dude is badass, that red pant guy. I mean, nobody nobody remembers this Contra, Contra characters, to be very honest. Like, like, they just don't really care, right? Like, nobody really cares about this Contra characters. They just care about, oh no, this guy is like blue pant guy or red pant guy. It's not as famous as like Mario or anybody I have seen so far, like literally calling out a game character like, oh my god, I'm gonna choose Bill or something like that. But no, it's always blue and a red pant guy. So from all then to till now, this game is like looking so really good with the graphics and still. And then this game came out in 2002. It's a very badass looking cutscenes right here. Alright, so let's play some video games. Alright, so this game came out in 2002. So we have like a fortress, train, city, fortress. Oh, so you literally have like a mission to select? I will choose, uh, let's, let's go to fortress. Alright. And here it is a now loading screen. Oh my god, like four to five different <laughs> fonts. All right, let's see here. This should be good. Okay, so basically this game. All right. So basically this game, like, oh my god, this looks beautiful. Man, I'm completely speechless. Just look at this. Bro, bro, this is really awesome. I'm kind of liking it. Not to say I'm loving it, but man, this is really cool. Man, like, what are we saying, bro? Oh shit, bro, this is actually looking badass. I'm not even kidding. Like, look at this. I'm not even kidding man, just look at this. This is really awesome. Like the kind of the things they have done, some stuff like that. Oh, oh, oh wait, is he really gonna, oh wait, he just murdered me man. Oh man, that's it? Whoa, that was really tough right there. But man, this game is really beautiful looking though. I can sense the hype and stuff like that back in the day. This is really awesome though. I'm so glad I got to play this. And they have also added that helicopter shot right there. I mean, helicopter shot. You know, cinema language, helicopter shot. All right. Then basically that they have added that scenery of the helicopter right there, which is what I always adore from the Super C days. Till now, in PlayStation, this is still 2002 we are in. Man. This is actually really interesting though. It's it's really interesting. Alright, let's see here. So this guy is gonna come up. Can we shoot him? Yeah, of course. Oh shit, he's gonna throwing some weird shit on me, man. Please don't do it, guy. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Let's see here. Ouch. Oh, I just destroyed him. Little bit of frame drops over here. I don't know why. All right, let's see here. Wow, this is really interesting, man. So glad to, so glad I got to play this game today. I think so this game is running on 30 FPS, I think. I don't even know how many FPS I'm getting, but whatever this is, this is really interesting. Wow, everybody should play this game, man. This Contra is really awesome. Whoa, look at that, man. Bro. Bro, this is really cool, man. Oh shit, this is so tough. 
Bro, this is really tough, man. Look at this. Bro, I have never seen this. Man. Do I have to go there? Oh my god, no! I'm getting over them. Over them, man. I'm getting over them. Yes, we destroyed it. Let's go. Man, this game is so cool, man. I'm really liking it. The way they have designed and everything. This game is badass, though. Alright, so that's pretty much it for Contra Shattered Soldier on PlayStation 2. Thank you so much for... Like, yeah. Thank you so much for tuning in to me. Alright, let's move on to the next console. I mean, the next game, next game, which is Neo Contra. Alright guys, so we are playing Contra Neo or Neo Contra. It came out in 2004, I think. Yeah, 2004. Uh, I've never played this game, but I'm really excited to try this out. So, let's let's see how, how it is gonna go. Man, this old Konami logo. I always adore this. Like, that time, it will never come back. Or it should come back. <laughs> oh wow, so they have added like a card scene, like a waterfall. Where is the waterfall music of the NES? Beautiful though. Like, look at this, there's like a meditation going on. Like, wait, what? Bro, you're doing some meditation shit? Oh shit. They have added like a very badass cutscenes and things like that. Look at the graphics, man. This is Contra Neo or Neo Contra. Wow. This is really, 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 really cool, man. Neo Contra! Wow. Wow. Bro, this is so badass. Holy shit. What is even happening? Oh my god! Bro! That's some badass cutscenes right there, man! Holy shit, look at this! Damn! That nice carving in the wall, man! Wow! Whoa, man! I, I, I'm, I'm really so... Glad that I'm playing this game by looking at this cutscene. It literally looks so badass. All right, I'm pressing the start button. Let's go. I want to play the game. And that fire in the Contra logo. It always should be there, right? <coughs> All right, so let's see here. First player. So we have like a choosing option, like a machine gun, grenade. Charge shot, spread shot. All right, I will choose this. All right, now loading. Bro, this emulator is really running so awesome. All right, so there are some satellite outside the earth, trying to collect some data. All right, oh man, why the heck it has to be in this way? No, bro. I mean, I was really excited that this game should have been in like a 2D or something, but it's... it is worse. But hey, the graphic looks good at least. So far. I mean, this is kind of like a little bit of isometric top angle or some shit like that. Because it is tilted. Man. Where the heck am I? Bro. Bro, what the heck is that? Oh no. Alright, that explosion. Alright, let's see here. Bro. This game is so weird. Jesus Christ, man. This game is really so weird. God damn it. Just everything kills you. Oh man. I cannot even get past through that thing. 
right there. This is really so weird. There we go. Bro, what the heck? What the heck, man? God damn it. Holy shit. And it's game over. Oh my god, man. This game is so trash. Um, the cutscenes are really nice. I did enjoy it. It bring it. It really gives you that hype, just like the new Contra Rock Cops game. Like I'm, I'm, I'm coming up to that. Like I just don't know why Kon Konami is pushing or making this type of games. Like seriously. All right, let's move on to the next console. Let's go. All right, guys. So we are at Nintendo Wii now, and we are playing Contra Rebirth. Contra Rebirth. Contra Rebirth came out in 2009. Hell yeah. This game came out in 2009. It was a WiiWare, of course. A WiiWare game. That means it was digital download only. Whoa. Damn, bro. Look at that graphics. Let me turn down this volume a little bit. Wow, so they have added a lot of nice cutscenes over here. This is really interesting to see that. Wow, I'm using Dolphin guys, Dolphin Emulator. I do have OB system right here, uh, but I'm uh, not able to use it. My Vmode's broke. Sadly, yeah, my Vmode's broke. But anyway, this is actually awesome though. The cutscenes and everything. It's not that bad, I would say. It's really not that bad. Let me see here. Okay. Right. Alright, so here we are at this screen right here. Let me see here. Uh alright, so here we are at the screen right now, the control rebirth. Let's go. Oh yeah, so wait. All right, let's see here. Let's pa. All right, so the the layout, the layout of Super C, bro. This game is really cool looking. No, I'm not even kidding. Just look at this. Wow, bro. I'm speechless. Like wow. Like, this game is a mixture of... This game is like... Super Alien Wars, the Contra 3 Alien Wars and Contra Hardcorps had baby together and this is what we get. I mean, explosions, the blue pants and things like that. Bro, oh shit, it's a game over already. Let's go. Let's go again, man. Bro, this is so cool looking game I've ever played in my life. The Rebirth on the Wii. This game is really so cool. I mean, look at these explosions and everything. Just look at this. Wow. Give me that homing missiles. Wow, the homing missiles work like a charm, like a magic. Alright, I will choose the spread gun because I'm just too used to it. Wow. Oh, shit. Bro. A lot of like a weird shit going on in this. Bro, just look at these explosions. I don't want that homing missile. Oh fuck, I died. <laughs> Bro. They have added like a jungle theme over here. Bro, this constant respawning things right here. You are not fun at all. Oh shit, I died right there. Man, this game is so good, man. I highly recommend everyone trying this game out, man. This game is so fun looking. All right, let's move on to the next console. All right, guys, so we are in the Xbox 360. Of course, I'm using the emulation because I don't have that console. But the emulation I'm using right now, I mean, just look at the video quality. This is mind-blowing like this is really crazy but whatever it is uh this game 
came out. I think so. This game came out in like 2011. Yeah, 2011 is where this game came out. This game is known as Hard Corps. They have not used any Contra game, uh, like a logo or something. I would say it is just known as like Hard Corps. I mean, like probably like a sequel or a prequel of Hard Corps or something. But whatever it is, uh, this game I have seen a lot of my friends playing it, and this game looks really badass. And I think so. I can you. I can play. I can still play this on my Xbox One. I do have my Xbox One, but I'm too lazy to hook it up. So I'm like, for the convenience, I'm using this emulation. But man, this is really awesome, man. I'm I, I, I'm really loving every single thing they have made over here. Like, wow. I mean, these modern Contra games sure have like a very amazing hardcore cutscenes. But gameplay is good, that is like, I don't even know, type of the thing, right? Okay, so we have like, okay, so we have like a, a chick and a dude, I will choose a dude. Alright, let's go. Mission accomplished, alright, let's go. I'm kind of like, seeing all of this like, I have I have seen a lot of people playing this game though like really like it's it's such a great looking game like it's a side scrolling game though but I'm today I'm excited to try it so let's see how well it's gonna go let's go ready oh shit bro what is even happening wait hold on all right guys so this is Contra Hardcore Rising they do not mention like a hard, uh, like a contra as a word in the title screen though. I'm even like questioning like what, why they don't mention. But whatever it is, this game is really badass and I'm not even kidding. Like look at this graphics and everything, like the stuff they have used, like man this is really badass on the Xbox 360, like wow. Like I'm like wow man, like this is really so cool, the things they have done. Wow, I'm loving it though. I am 100% loving this. This is really so cool looking game though. Like look at this desert and the graphics and stuff like that, like on the Xbox 360. Not just that, like a uh, difficulty is sure like tight over here, I can sense it. Wow, and they have added a lot of SFX too. Wow. I don't know, a lot of people say that this game is like a prequel of uh, Hard Corps on Sega Genesis. I don't know how it is, probably I have to read the story about this or something like that. A lot of people are very religious about the stories of video games. Really nice of them though. Like some people really like just like reading some fiction stuff. Oh man, this is really awesome man. This game is really awesome. Have you, ever, have you ever tried this game? Let me know in the comments. Alright, it's game over already. Alright, it's time to move to the next console. I think so. So yeah, let's go. Alright guys, so we have arrived at the Game Boy era. Of course, this is a Game Boy. I'm using Super Game Boy, Mr. FPGA Core. Um, it looks really beautiful though, honestly speaking. Has anybody played this one? This, this game is like reminiscent of Super C and Contra all together mixed. And this is a really awesome game. I have seen a lot of people playing it and streaming it. Uh, it really looks beautiful though. So what are your thoughts on this game? Let me know. Oh yeah, it's 1991 man. 1991 that hardcore era. Oh, let me increase the volume a little bit. Alright, here we go. Alright, so these Contra, man, so they have used the jungle music over here, it looks beautiful, it sounds beautiful, man, oh shit, wow, man, this game is beautiful looking, just look at this graphics, I mean, I know it's Game Boy, but man, Game Boy is a Game Boy, it's a nostalgia, right, how can you forget? 
All right, there we go. How hard is this game? I don't know about this though. I should get good. At, I should speed run this game at some point. What do you guys think? Maybe I will get a lot of viewers. I don't know. <laughs> the spread gun, as always, it has to be that top. It has to be on the top, right? The spread gun, boy. The spread gun, boys. It looks beautiful, man. I'm loving it. All right, so that floor. All right, so here we are. The changing screens. All right, I don't need that homing missile. I'm just not a big fan of it. I, I just like the spread gun more because I'm just too old school. Even though I'm Gen Z, but I'm still used to like spread gun more. Never a big fan of these homing missiles. Man. Oh, shit, I died right there. Fuck it. God damn. Man. The music sounds so good. I'm, I'm, I mean, man, I'm just loving it. Oh shit! Low comes again. Here is a moment, guys. Low comes again. If you guys are familiar with TS2 music, I'm gonna play that music a little bit. All right, let's go. Oh shit, bro! Whoever, whoever has made this game, like Konami, man. Some badass shit they used to make. And that too on a Game Boy console, man. And I kinda like that not a lot of enemies are respawning into this. Like, they literally know that not too much pride a Game Boy can handle, alright? It's gonna lag or something. The CPU of. I, I think so, a lot of people say that CPU of Game Boy was way more. Powerful than the NES? I don't even know. But what do you guys think? Oh shit. This is a really tough thing, Gingy, right here. Oh my god, I just survived right there. Damn. Pro gamer. Alright. Bro, 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 hold on. Oh shit, I died right there. God damn. And it's game over. Man, this game is really awesome. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Alright guys, we are back at the Game Boy once again and this is Contra 3 The Alien Wars on Game Boy. No, I'm not even kidding. This game actually came out. I mean, this looks really good. They, don't, they have not mentioned Contra 3 or something and it came out in 1984. This is really awesome though. I'm liking it. Oh, here we go. Yeah, so basically this game is supposed to be a home version, I mean a portable version of Contra 3 or something. Wow. I mean, this game is really tough. I have seen a lot of people playing it. Bro, what is that? Oh shit, I got shot right there. Damn, boy. This game is actually good looking though, for the Game Boy standards of course. I'm not saying that, oh my god, this is like a masterpiece graphics. <laughs> Alright, stop making fun of Game Boy, come on, man. Oh shit, I got shot. Damn, boy. Go easy on me, man. I'm playing this game for the first time. Wow, what a music bashing right there. What a riff. Wow. I'm loving the music, though. Alright, what this two guys trying to do over there, like, they're like, oh my god, that dude is gonna come, shoot on him. Alright, here we go. Oh shit, let's go. Yeah, they have, they have added a lot of, like, guys right there, and yeah, that metal slug thingy right there. Metal slug. Oh shit, I got shot, fuck. Alright, let's see, we still have one life left. Oh, fuck! God damn, this- oh shit, look at this! Man, this is really badass though. I'm- I- I really like this game. What's your- what's your thought on it? Let me know in the comments. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Alright guys, it's time for Game Boy Advance, right? So, this game is known as Contra Advance Alien Wars 3, I think. So, they basically, they ported the same version. 
Oh, sorry, it's Alien Wars EX. <laughs> but I think so, it's basically the Alien Wars on Contra 3, right? Let's go. New game, of course. And here it is. Level 1. Here we go. That's Contra 3, man. That's Contra 3 on a Game Boy screen. Man, this feels really fluid and so smooth. And I'm not even kidding. Like, the smoothness rate is like 100% than the... Bro, how many times I got spread gun? That's so many times. Whoa. A and the screen is moving really fast. I I I'm just realizing this right now. Oh shit, I got shot right there. Man. I should do a f full playthrough on this game. Probably I should play this version, I guess, right? This feels like very smooth though. My kind of a thing, basically. Oh shit, nuggets. God damn, boy. I'm getting shot over there. Like, too quickly. And it's game over. <laughs> Alright, let's do a one more round. Oh, here we go. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Level 1. Level 1. Level 1. Alright, let's go. So here we go. We first get the invisibility. Like the game. Literally, hold your hands. Like you get spread gun for like twice. That's really awesome. I don't remember if you get twice in Super Nintendo version. I don't remember that. Dude, fuck that dog. Yeah, that dog just confused the shit out of me. He's not a real dog anyway, so I'm not promoting any alien harm or something so please peta please understand the context it's a video game context i hope you understand it everything is f everything should be fair in video gaming context right all right so let's move on god damn it all right guys so we are at contra 4 and this game came out in nintendo ds 2007 like wow right like the stuff and designs and things they have used in this game is so badass. Like, just look at this. Wow, I wish I could use my 3DS to film this. But it's just not feasible option. Like, look at that, like a two screens over there and the helicopter of course Super C, right? Like, the Super C reference, Konami is so obsessed with it. Even me too. Man, the graphics are so awesome for Nintendo DS standards and everything about this game is so tough. This game is very tough though. Yeah, now we can see some original Contra reference. The jungle stage. Gotta be there, right? Wow, that, <laughs> that sound. Yeah! This game is ported over in so many like uh, mobile phones I guess like in the Symbian phone as well and also they ported this on Android as well like even I cannot believe like wow but man I love the music though I absolutely adore the music they have used around here oh shit nuggets how many of you have DS? Which one is your favorite DS game? The new Princess Peach game is gonna come up. Are you guys excited for it? Oh shit, we got the spread gun, baby. Let's go. Wow. Man, this game is so awesome, man. Damn. I mean, they have like everything they have remade and just made it into like, the, the soundtrack is also changed to like, no more jungle music or something. Like, I, 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 I'm really loving this. Here we go, the L gun. This kind of reminds me a little bit, a little bit sections of, oh shit, I got shot. But man, this game is really awesome. I highly recommend trying this. God damn it. Holy shit. Alright, let's go. Alright guys, I am playing Contra Rock Corps today. And this game sucks. This game sucks as far as 
I have seen a lot of people talking about it. This is Contra Rock Corps. What do you guys think about this game? To be very honestly speaking, I'm just not into this. Like, this is kind of like these Contra Legacy of War type of the thing. Like, there is like a heating of the gun. The graphics and visuals are really awesome though. By it's it's a good work done by the Konami, but everything else is just I'm just not into it, bro. Honestly speaking, this game sucks. But yeah, look at this graphics though. But there's one thing I have seen that type of the dragon. I think so in the PlayStation One games. I think so. We have seen that, right? As far as I know. But, but other than that, this game is not that bad. I would say. Now you will be like, "Yo, Sin, you are saying that this game, this game is bad. At the same time, this game is good. Like, what are you trying to say?" All right, so let's see here. I, I, I'm canceling this thing, but I like the visuals. The visuals are really good. All right, so the, the, the angle, like this type of angle, is just not. I'm not a big fan of. But other than that, like they have done a good job in the visuals. But I wish this was a like a side-scrolling type of the game, you know. Or they could have made like a 3D element rather than this BS. I just don't know what, why why they like this type of the element or something. Can I play the game now? All right, let's go. All right, so can I play the game now? All right, let's go. Dance close. What the heck? What? Bro, he does a dance. Bro, what the heck? Holy shit. Yeah, let's go. He can dance, bro. Oh shit. Whoa. All right, let's go. All right, so I think so you're supposed to go over here, right? Try shooting something. ZR to shoot. Oh, there we go. That's a gunshot right there. ZR. Alright, I'm there now. What am I supposed to do? Shoot. Alright, there we go. Yeah, this type of angle is what I could have been a big fan of. But that isometric thingy. Just not, not into it, you know. But yeah, I could say, I could see that this is like a... I, I could see that this is like a weird version of like a Legacy of Wars shit like that, you know? Alright. God damn. Frag all fields. Bingo. Let's go. Alright, so... They do have like a weird guns over here, I would say. Oh shit, a pink? A pink bullet? What type of a gun shoots a pink bullet? <coughs> wow. This must be some weird shit right here. And I kind of like that they have the they have that thing. It's called the health bars and stuff like that. They do have the health bars. But I guess other than that, this game is all right. There is nothing much to say about this though. L and R while shooting. All right. Aim. So you gotta aim now. Huh? Alright, I'm aiming on you, bitch. Alright. Alright, so yeah, this is Contra Rock Corpse. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Alright guys, so we are trying the Contra for Redux on Android phone. I'm using my Samsung S20 FE device, which is what I have. And uh, this actually, this game came out in like 2007, 9, 10 era. Like, you know that Android ice cream sandwich type of the era back in the day. It was a good era back in the day though. Like, they were literally pushing a lot of games on mobile phones and still they do. Because in Asian markets, especially in Asia, people prefer to just play video games on mobile phone rather than buying a separate console or some stuff like that. So yeah, this is the thing. It does exist anyway. But... Even though this game is uh, basically a copy of, you know, the Contra 4 on the Nintendo DS. So let's see here. If I start over here, initials. All right. So we got two characters over here. Salmon, Caesar. What the heck? So we have like a blue pant guy and a green hair dude or something like that. 
Whatever. Let's go. I will go with this dude. Let's go. Alright, so here we go. This is the mobile version of Contra. And he's automatically shooting. Like, look at that. He's automatically shooting. Oh shit, I got shot right there. God damn, boy. That was a really quick shot. Yeah, this game is actually, like... I, I won't say that uh, there's not, not much to expect. Wait, how did I change that guy? As far as I remember, I choose the Bill guy, right? As far as I know. Or well, probably, whatever. Uh, wow, well, this game is actually a good copy for um, for the Contra 4. I don't have personally a lot of issues with this though. It runs really well on my phone though. And yeah, this is recording in uh, 30 FPS. I'm using a capture card connected to the HDMI. My phone can HDMI output though. It looks beautiful. Let's see here. Wow, this game actually not that bad. But I just don't like the touch the touch screen control scheme or some stuff like that. I tried connecting my Joy-Cons. It just doesn't work. It just doesn't work though. God damn. So yeah, this is Contra for Redux on Android. This game also came out in iOS device. If anybody has iOS device, you guys can try it probably. Using some like a computer techniques and things like that. How the heck do I have to jump? God damn. Alright, getting passed through, getting passed through, getting passed through. Let's go here. Oh yeah. Oh shit, I got shot. God damn. Yeah, let's try a little bit again. Level 1-1. One, one. I remember playing this game on Symbian phones uh, back in the day. Like, they used to have like a Symbian phones back in the day where this game came out. Uh, I don't have a Symbian phone. I have an Android. So yeah, basically. It's it just the same version though. The music just sounds same and everything is just same though. But not, uh, not much of a difference, honestly speaking. But yeah, man. Uh, what else can you expect from a mobile version of Contra? Like, if you don't have anything, you're just like, oh my god, I'm bored. If you're going to a doctor and there is like a huge queue or something you have to wait on, then probably you can just take out your phone and play some Contra or something. You know? It's that type of the thing, you know? I mean, nobody carries their Nintendo Switch if you're going to a hospital or doctor. Do you? I don't. If any normal person out there would not carry a gaming console while they are going to like a medical or something, you know, or like just driving a car, I mean, if you're going on a road trip, I mean, some people do carry. Depends on where you go, honestly speaking though. Oh shit, fuck, I'm getting shot, this game is really tough. Alright. God damn. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh no! Alright. Alright guys, let's try the next mobile game of Contra. Alright guys, so this game is called Contra Evolution. I think so this game came out in like 20... I think so 2013. Yeah, 2013 they made this game, Contra Evolution. Uh, I think so 2013 was the era of Android KitKat or something, as far as I remember. Probably not. I think so. It was the era, and I tried to connect. Uh, I tried to connect my Joy-Con with this, but it just doesn't work. So I have to play with the touch screen, right? So yeah, I gotta touch this. And look at that Contra logo right there. Like everything is on fire. This looks actually good though, and it is officially licensed by Konami. So yeah, let's go. So I'm not playing any like a weird games, bro. What the fuck? Alright, let's see here. Contra Evolution. Don't tell me that it's not gonna wor work. It should work, right? Come on, let's work. I have to shoot a video. I wanna show my friends how it's done. Alright, so here we go. Alright, so here we go. We have like uh, arcade modes and things like that. If I click on a new game, so yeah, let's restart the game. So we got like uh, two to three characters over here, like these ladies, you have to like hard work hard. Yeah, you have to hard work hard for ladies, right? So yeah, 
you have like a different character selection screens over here like you guys can see uh i will choose bill or lance bing whatever bill razor yeah that guy is badass as always right the blue hand guy and here it is a contra like it is <laughs> automatically shooting i'm not even doing anything i'm not even touching anything it's automatically shooting you just have to like keep on like just walk and jump that's what you do in this game it, it's, it's not a bad game though i mean this is actually feeling like a remake of the contra and it is actually a remake of the contra i would say for the mobile like it exactly looks it looks good i would say this could be this could have been on the switch if this game came out on switch i would i would be so happy to play it but man this is actually badass i would say contra evolution the android kitkat era you know here we go and it's automatically shooting like everything is happening automatic okay so this is completely uh the remake of the contra on the nes i i i, I guess i can see that wow i'm liking it though all right let's see here all right jump the controls are fluid it just it doesn't feel bad honestly speaking though all right and here is the dude all right shoot him shoot him shoot him shoot him shoot him shoot him come on man die all right here we go oh shoot i got shot right there god damn come on here we go not bad a defeated enemies reward all right Okay, so you get like a, la a revived lives and shit like that in this game. Alright, level 2. Okay, cool. Alright, let's go, baby. Wow. <laughs> this is not a bad Contra game at all for mobile phones. Alright, here we go. This is the base stage right here. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, give me that app gun might help a lot yeah let's 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 walk straight right yeah oh so he's automatically walking straight wow okay i could see man i wish i could make it to the waterfall level <laughs> oh shit man this is a good card for game on mobile phone the first one first one was all right though but but that touch screen and shit like that was not good at all so yeah, over over here you have like a big the, the control and uh, overlay and stuff like that, you know. Why the heck there is no controller uh, option? Like there should be a joystick option or something so you can just use the modern controllers and play every game or something like that, you know. I wish they should have designed that fucking thing. But yeah, whatever. This, this is a good 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 game for mobile phones, I would say. All right. I don't want to take that Elgin. Let's see how Elgin looks like. Oh shit, dude, Elgin, Elgin slaps over here. I would say though. God damn, boy. Let me let me uh, slow down the music a little bit. All right, here we go. Oh shit. All right, let's let's walk straight. All right, it's walking straight, walking straight. Here we go. Oh shit. Bro, it's automatic. I'm not doing anything. The, the shooting is automatic. Man, this is a complete... <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm loving it though. This is actually very good. Oh shit. I wish this... Uh, I wish... Uh, like, they should really remake this game for Switch or something. Like, Contra Anniversary Collection could have been good if they would have added this game or something like that, you know? God damn, shield con- okay, so I can use shield now, yeah, so they give you the shield, I think so, I think so this game was free download or something, then you have to like buy extra lives or something, I mean typical mobile Konami thing, right, just like how people buy uh, skins on Fortnite, it's kinda like that, alright, is he gonna die, he should die man, come on, 116 damage, what is that, a damage counter over there? Like MP or something like that. Oh, there we go. We just did it. Not bad. You defeated the enemy's reward. Revive. Alright, let's go.
Holy shit. Yeah, this is a classic thing right there. Wow. This is so great. All right. And this is the waterfall stage. Look at this. Wow. Dude, I like kind of like the graphics. It looks beautiful. Holy shit. Oh, shit, I got shot. And yeah, there we go. So yeah, I could make up till the uh, waterfall stage right there. This is really interesting. All right, let's move on to the next Contra. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are playing Contra Returns, which came out in 2017. All right, the Chinese developers, right? Konami logo right there. And yeah, there is a cutscene going on and that too on a mobile phone back in the day, man. I mean, I mean, it's still like a new game basically, like 2017. Yeah, has anybody played this one? This actually looks good though, like the graphics and everything, the stuff they have done. It looks like PS4, PS3 type of the graphics, you know? I mean, this really looks cool though. Look at this. Alright, Bill and Lance. Oh shit, here we go, man. Finally, we can see their faces now, you know, in this version, basically. Wow, this is actually a really good game, I would say. As far as the graphics are concerned. <laughs> for a mobile phone. I mean, you can literally play this game, like, if you are, like, waiting outside for something, you know. If you are at the job interview and there is, like, two through four crank, crank candidates who... <laughs> sitting over there and it's gonna take a lot of time you can literally just sit over there damn that chick looks beautiful i mean that's an ai chick right can we really find a good looking chick like this in real life i don't think so i'm just kidding let those who frame me all right so she really helps this dude to save this dude looks masculine like that you know that face of masculinity like a long hair beards I, I wish I would have beards, but man, I like to look, you know, cute, I would say. So yeah, this is the loading screen right here. This is how it is, man. Downloading configuration files. All right. Come on, man. Let's load up. Oh, shit. I think so. It's going to take a lot of time to load, I think. It's typical this era video game, right? It's 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 same as the PS4 or Xbox One where you just put in the disc. You still have to wait for the games to update or something. And I really hate that. This is how the modern gaming is. All right, let's click on guest login. All right, confirm as guest. Let's go. Authorization successful. All right, start video game. Come on, start that game. All right, so this is how it like showing you over here. I kind of like the way they have used the iPhone overlay right there, like iPhone 8, iPhone 9 era, not iPhone 9, I mean iPhone 8. <laughs> All right, tap to continue. Yeah, and it's loading right here. Yeah, this is a big ass game, like two to three gigabytes for the mobile phone though. Yeah, and here is like a cutscene things over here. Operate Athena. And here we go. The helicopter scene from Super Contra, man. Look at that. We are right at the objective of the Cyclops. Be careful. Alright, let's go. Bro, this looks badass though. Holy shit. Confirm. Alright. So, press forward button over here. Yeah, this game is treating me like an idiot. They're treating me like that. I've never played Contra game before. Wow. I mean, people who are actually playing Contra game, they actually know like this version exists, right? Like, how many of how many of you knew that this version exists? Like, wow. They have health bars and shit like that. That's really interesting, though. They have done some good shit right here. I mean, I'm not a big fan of a touchscreen games, to be very honest. But this feels good, I would say. It does not feel bad at all. It doesn't feel bad at all. It looks... Wow, look at this graphics. Uh, can I jump? Oh, there we go. Look at that. Holy shit. Damn. God damn, bro. Look at that graphics. Alright, that's a transformer looking dude. 
Robotic Matron or some shit like that. Damn. Alright, you gotta touch him. What do you gotta do? Alright, goal achieved. Let's go. Alright, so there's a jump button right there. Oh, you can double jump in this. That's good. Let's go. Alright, let's double jump. Here we go. Oh shit, the boss fight over here begins, man. Alright, let's go. Oh shit, they gave you the spread gun right here. Damn, bro, that's badass. Alright, double jump. Oh shit, man. Man, I wish... I wish instead of making Contra, Rogue Corps or some shit games like that, why the heck Konami doesn't make games like this for Nintendo Switch? That would be really interesting. But still some old people out there who would say that, oh my god, they should make a pixelated style Contra. I mean, come on, man. This is actually really cool. Just because it's a mobile game doesn't mean it's a it's bad game though or something. I mean, some old... I mean, some old miserable people out there in the retro community should really understand, like, how the era of the uh, the game, especially the modern gaming, is going. They're still making this like a 2D style Contra game, which is really awesome. I'm really excited to try out the new Contra game coming out in this year. I think so, it's gonna come out in the early 2024, so I can expect around like March or April. Probably we can expect. Wow, this is actually badass, man. I'm enjoying this. Holy shit. Alright, let's skip this. And here we go. <laughs> Alright. Alright guys, let's uh, move on to the next game. Let's go. Alright guys, so this version is called Contra Tournament. Man, this game looks so weird, man. Like, <laughs> just look at this. This is like the mixture of... <laughs> PUBG and Fortnite all together because they wanted to add like a whatever man like I don't know how Konami can license this thing like what the heck it does really exist this is such a weird thing I've ever seen in my life man like I'm just not into it man I'm just not into it this Contra tournament oh shit man just look at this <laughs> All right, let's pick that shit up. Oh man, god damn. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it does exist. Guys, it does exist. All right, guys, so there are total 31 Contra games released so far officially by Konami. It really blows my mind that they have done a lot of Contra games from arcades, consoles, handhelds, computers, and mobile phones. Like, we have covered every Contra games in this video, man. If you guys really enjoy this video, please do not forget to like, share subscribe if i have missed any contra game please let me know in the comments please and do check out my other videos over here let's go guys thank you so much